autism. Hope you're all well. Um, in usual weekend fashion, it's raining here. Typical, so unfortunately no park visit. We did manage to get out to the park last night, which was really, really nice. And um, While it's warm, it's nice on an evening. It's a good way for um, the kids, particularly Charlie, when he's been at school all day, to wind down and just sort of let loose and also get that last burst of energy out, So, which seems to be working fine and Charlie's sleeping a little bit better. So, yes, really, really pleased about that. Um, and today, when I grab them, bottom right, Charlie's Pex cards, as y'all can see, upside down some of them. Because he's been had them in the mouth, you can see that's crunch. Uh, the reason I'm showing you that those, uh, no, back. <laughs> the reason I'm showing you those today, guys, um, uh, is because Charlie seems to have taken a leap with using them. Um, Okay, you guys seen uh, maybe a couple of months back now, we started using his dinner card and whatnot. And while it's still only a couple of cards that he is using, he seems to be... Um, there doesn't seem to be any, any confusion or issue as to what he is supposed to be doing with the cards. And so um, it gives for a smoother, um, say like dinner time is, is his particularly favourite one, the one he's most confident with. It makes the whole process a lot easier and it's fantastic because you can almost... Have a conversation with Charlie. Um, I'll encourage Charlie to talk. He then turn um, passes me his card. We both understand that's Charlie's way of talking, at least for now, anyway. Um, and then, so you know, so we're sort of building up um, some sort of communication through my verbalization and Charlie's return with the PEX cards, which obviously is the idea of it. So I'm really, really happy how that's going. Dinner time went really well um, using his dinner card. And there's also the case of. Um, you know, just to sort of test the waters a bit, I did this a while back when I first started using them. I've actually, I actually moved the card a fair bit away from him to see if he'll seek it out to come back. So I'm confident he knows that's what the card um, is being used for rather than just picking it up, passing it, picking it up, passing it, which is fine. That's absolutely great. And, you know, he's getting the point over. Um, but with his dinner sat in front of him um, and his card put far out of reach... Um, it shows me that he's made a thought process, he's thought, I need my card, I'll seek my card out, pass it over. Um, and it's just shown me a, a, a bit more understanding um, of what Charlie's got going on and things like that. So it's a bit difficult to explain what I mean. But yeah, so he's doing that, he's actively seeking it out. So that's good, which means, on to the final steps, which I've shown these. Obviously these were in Charlie's room, they're all falling off because he's pretty much chewed the Velcro on them. But means we're maybe getting to a point where we can actually have his cards um, they're always in his bedroom anyway and they're always accessible for him. maybe getting to a point where Charlie will seek out his card to then give it to us rather than it just being there and it being an exchange for a dinner a, a spoon of his dinner or whatever um, <clears throat> uh, so that's sort of like a step up I guess from the objects reference he uses pretty much a lot at the minute with his cup for his drink obviously and the remote control if he wants channel change and etc. So I'm hoping in time he will take these cards and pass us them rather than just seeing it side of his dinner and just passing it over. Um, so that's the next step we're making and hopefully it will go well. It seems to be going well so far. So that's about it for today guys. I just want to fit that in. I can't tell you a lot about what Charlie's been doing um, because to be fair he's not really done a lot. The weather's been rubbish. But yes, so I will leave it there guys, but uh, as usual if you have any questions, we're encouraging questions now just to keep things rolling nice and active and you know of course we're doing this because we want to help. So yes, um, if you like what we're doing please click subscribe and very very soon you will be seeing our new show um, called How to Play the Autism Way or Learn to Play the Autism Way. We haven't locked in which one yet but um, the reason it's taken so long and I announced it a while ago is this is going to be our full first full proper structured sort of laid out attempt at doing a show rather than a vlog or um, <clears throat> one of us just chatting and putting some title cards over the start or whatever so uh, please be patient with that but it's it, yeah we've got lots of plans for that it's going to be awesome um, but yes yeah, so stay subscribed for that if you haven't already please click subscribe really help us out and check out our pages here in life autism autism central and our friends over at autistic genius and that's about it, guys, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care, and let silent words be heard.